Dropbox and Google Drive have been the most popular cloud storage systems for a while now. Both tools are on the forefront of the ongoing cloud storage discussions. Dropbox is perhaps the most popular cloud storage solution. It's well established, and a lot of teams use the tool to share their project files. But Google Drive is catching up fast and is growing its user base. So anyone who is thinking about adopting a cloud storage system will want to know how these measure against each other, and of course, which one is the better system. To save you time, we think Google Drive is the superior system. If you want to know why, let's have a look in our Dropbox versus Google Drive face-off. First of all, this category is rather subjective. Some users will probably tell you that they like Dropbox better. Others will claim that Google Drive is far easier to use. But before we go into aesthetic details, let's look at the facts. Dropbox is widely used, and a lot of people have probably already received an invitation to a Dropbox shared folder to access project files. For collaboration, Dropbox requires users to sign up for free and for better user experience, install the software on their computer. Given the circumstance that a lot of people already use Dropbox, it is likely that your collaborators already have a Dropbox account. Yet with popular services like Gmail and YouTube, it is still more likely that your users already have a Google account. What makes me lean more in the direction of Google Drive is that if it's easier for users, then it's better for everyone. Another thing with Google Drive is that it is made to be used in the browser. You can install the Google Backup and Sync tool on your hard drive, but basically, Google Drive lives inside your browser. While Dropbox users might say the Dropbox system is better integrated with your local machine, I'd say the web style service and the better integration with Google Office tools, such as Google Docs and Spreadsheets, beats Dropbox here. You don't have to be paranoid to be worried about security. Dropbox had a huge data breach that still ranks number 36 in the history of data and security incidents of all time with millions of passwords being stolen. How Dropbox has improved security measures since then is really impressive, offering two-factor authentication and other things. On the other hand, Dropbox had to solidify its security in order to catch up with Google Drive. Google has high security standards for its data centers, and the fact that we haven't learned about a security breach within Google Drive is definitely a plus. Security is a neck and neck case between the two solutions, but I'd say Google Drive has the lead here. It offers security scans for files before download and, at least for us, offers more consistent security management. Money is where friendships end, or at least where you really know if the person is a friend or not. Comparing the pricing structure for Dropbox and Google Drive brings in some clarity here as well. Of course, both tools offer a free account. In the case of Dropbox, you will get two gigabytes for free. With Google Drive, you'll get 15 gigabytes of free storage. If you're looking for a personal account and you think a few gigabytes will do the trick for you, Google Drive has a far better offer. For teams and professional users who are sure they'll need a lot more than just a few gigabytes, we will compare the pricing for one terabyte of storage. With Dropbox's pricing structure, one terabyte will, as of now, charge you $19.99 or the equivalent in your own currency. Google Drive offers the same amount of disk space for $9.99. Again, a pretty clear decision. So in our book, Google Drive beats Dropbox in usability, security, and costs, making Google Drive the clear winner of this battle for the best cloud storage system. Do you agree with our assessment? Did we miss something here? Let us know in the comment section. If you want to know more about managing digital files and creative collaboration for Teams, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.